Kia ora yesterday and welcome to our lesson today for Wednesday period 3 and period 4. So this is a double and the whole purpose and design of today's lesson is to take a really deep analysis of God and analyse the scripture and the belief behind the concept that God created the universe and that God created life. So, so far what we've been doing is looking at the philosophical reasoning behind why there must be a creator and now we're going to analyse from the Catholic Church's perspective and belief uh, why there is belief in a God. So today, just on screen here, um, on Classroom is a link that you're going to look at and there's two links there. So the first one is this one here that we're going to look up and we need two people in the class uh, to come forward and lead our discussion. So there's going to be uh, two leaders guiding our class through this by reading the article together and then the, the rest of you need to come together to discuss the questions and respond to the questions on this document. So that's our first activity and it's probably going to take between 20 and 30 minutes and remember to bring out questions that you have because there'll be other people in the class who will be able to respond to them. Our second learning activity is that we need to uh, analyse what the Catholic Church uh, believes about this idea of a creator God based on scripture. So what we've got here is an analysis of the two creation stories. So if you click on this link here, I've got um, links to my study Bible. So they are ordered in Genesis 1, 2 and 3. And if you open them up, you'll be able to read the scripture, but you'll also be able to read the study notes, which are at the bottom of the page. It's really important when you're looking at this on screen here that you download it to your computer so that you're able to turn it around. Okay. Once you've had a look at those, we're going to go through these questions here. We look at the scripture and respond to these questions here because we're looking at a deep dive at how God is presented through scripture. And then our final activity is that we're looking at this concept that God is omni, that God is omnipresent, that God is omnipotent, and that God is omniscient. So make sure you click on this link and it'll take you to this slideshow here. And on number 14, I've got the concepts of omnipotent, omniscient, and omnipresent. And from here, I've got 10 examples where you're trying to work out is it omnipresent, omniscient, or omnipresent. Potence, okay, so those are little examples there and to go even deeper We've got the scripture um, Analysis we are trying to look at the feature that God has presented in the scripture here uh, Is it omnipresent omnipotent or omniscient? And finally to keep you guys going uh, I've got this uh, link here so this is our portfolio of learning. So this is for me to keep a track of where you're at, where your understanding at, is at, and how you're tracking uh, in your learning. So this is a document that you're able to edit. So you place your name here, and then based on today's work, I would add in the link to this. So remember that the link needs to be anyone can view, and you need to place it in this box here or here. And your omni responses through these activities here need to be written into your workbooks, your 1B5 books. So I'll be checking that. So we'll be looking at this uh, portfolio of learning as we go through, bring it up on the screen so that everyone can see where we're at. So as we go through this question, there will be a range of other tasks we'll be looking to complete. So lots to do today, a really deep dive at the person of God, God is creator through scripture, and I hope you have some fun with it.